Hey there, router operators. Uh, welcome back. Mike Murphy with All Star here. Uh, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at inboard gasket solutions. Uh, inboard gasketing intended for those dedicated fixtures. Uh, two solutions for dedicated fixtures, the inboard gasket and the cover gasket. Uh, cover gasket, uh, we'll look at it in another video. But the inboard gasketing for a dedicated fixture, to me, a dedicated fixture, for dedicated jobs, repetitive stuff, production runs. Uh, we're getting away from spoil boards. We're not gonna spoil this board. Uh, let's make a dedicated board for a dedicated job. Uh, inboard gasketing, the best way to do that for a variety of reasons. When we recess that gasket, it's gonna have an extended lifetime to it. Also brings the part flush up against the fixture. So your Z depth is, is tight, tight tolerance on the Z depth because that gasket is really gonna zero out when it's in a channel uh, and recesses down in there. Some of the tricks our customers have taught us over the years, maybe they'll chamfer the top of that channel uh, to allow that gasket a little extra relief room to zero out. Uh, of course, we're going to make that dedicated fixture out of a non-porous material, whether it be Baltic Birch or HGPE, something that doesn't leak vacuum, because that's really the number one thing that we're trying to do in holding parts, is prevent that leak to get an airtight system and really clamp onto that thing. More parts, less time, prevent onion skins, tab cuts, all that kind of stuff. So using that inboard gasket, uh, take a look. A lot of different options, a lot of different thicknesses, densities to fit your application. Uh, but let us help you to hold it better, cut it better, and profit better, and give us a shout today.